So, uh, as I was saying, this is the car that I selected. And I just selected this car because it's a car that I bought with the engine blown. The engine was broken. So this is perfect. I don't really need an engine, gas engine, so I'm going to remove it. And uh, it was very fairly priced. Uh, for the cars that you want to convert to electric, there are several things to consider. The car has to be a standard. The car has to be light, fairly light and sturdy. Uh, uh, and it has to be standard because the engine uh, adapts or match exactly with the transmission. And you don't want an automatic because the automatic has to be running continuously while the standard can pretty much uh, stop when the car is stopped and it drives like an automatic so the, the standard car is part perfect for converting this and you basically drive in second shift most of the time you don't need to change you know, shift the speeds really drive in second or third gear and that's that's it uh, okay the electric cars they work in uh, 72, 96, 120, or 144 volts, or even higher for people who want uh, a lot of performance. This is not my case. So in, in this particular case, I'm planning to build a 120 volts system, which uh, should be enough to power a car of this weight. The gross weight of this car is 2,700 uh, pounds. So 120 volts should be enough to give it a power of uh, equivalent of a 70 horsepower car. Um, so um, there are kits online that you can buy, which uh, has the controller, the new pedal that now is electric, the batteries, um, everything you need is online. There are many places that sell kits these days that you use to convert these cars. So uh, the first step that you need to do is to remove the engine. You need to remove the engine and all the parts that you're not going to need, which is the, 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 the big engine, the muffler, the gas tank, uh, and many of the parts inside the uh, engine compartment. You don't need a uh, radiator either. So right now I'm in the process of removing the engine. As you can see, I already started. Basically, you need to start removing parts and then extracting the engine. And the uh, the, the electric engine is going to be uh, adapted here to the clutch, to the to the manual transmission, which is this section. Um, I'm gonna keep typing and showing you how to do this. I'll start removing uh, and once the engine is empty I'm going to go and buy the electric parts. As you can see the radiator is gone right now, the, um, the uh, alternator is gone and I'm going to keep removing parts until it's all gone. There has to be a big empty space here and uh, there are going to be some of the batteries here and I'm planning to put some of the other batteries in the back, in the trunk. Uh, there should be a total of 20 batteries in this car, 26 volt batteries for a total of 120 volts. Uh, I'm planning to do six, seven, or even 10 if I can fit them in the, in the under the hood, and another 10 or 12 in the trunk. Uh, I may need to get stronger springs because all these 20 batteries weigh about a thousand pounds. So I may need to find, at least in the back part, stronger springs to hold the extra weight and uh, I think that's all I have for now um, I will show you in the next video once the engine is removed